Hi, this is Manos Berlakis from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, presenting case 34 for the second edition of the Manual of CTO Interventions. This is a case that illustrates use of intravascular ultrasound for clarifying proximal cap ambiguity. This is a patient who had a circumflex CTO at the takeoff of this obtuse marginal branch. There is a distal circumflex branch originating at the proximal cap, and there is also a bifurcation at the distal cap. The circumflex filled mainly via collaterals from the distal right coronary and the posterior lateral branch. The right coronary did have a lesion, however, the FFR was negative. And we also know that after recanalizing the CTO, the FFR in the CTO donor vessel can increase by 0.03, 0.04, or even more in some selected cases. This is the dual injection that illustrates the CTO characteristics. We do have the ambiguous proximal cap with side branch of the proximal cap. It appears to be fairly short with an occlusion length of 10 to 20 millimeters. There's a bifurcation on the distal cap with the distal vessel being relatively small but probably good sized vessel. And then the collaterals are mainly epicardial from the right coronary artery that don't appear particularly favorable for a retrograde crossing. So our plan here was undergrade crossing with various techniques to clarify the proximal cap ambiguity. We advanced a Corsair microcatheter and performed underwire, undergrade wire escalation. However, the guide wire as can be appreciated here, is not moving in sync with the distal target vessel. Instead, it tended to track into the side branch that is the distal circumflex. In, the, in these cases, when we have a bifurcation at the proximal cap, using intravascular ultrasound into the side branch can help clarify where exactly is the proximal cap and help us confirm that the guide wire is entering into the proximal cap. And this is indeed the intravascular ultrasound. We're into the distal circumflex and we're slowly pulling back. And this is the occluded vessel that is slowly coming into view, clarifying where we're starting. So we started once again with wire escalation. We inserted the guide wire. However, with IVUS, it's clear that the wire is not actually engaging the CTO vessel. Instead, it's in a different plane. So the wire was repositioned and IVUS was repeated. And this time, we do see that the guide wire is actually located within the vessel structure. This is the guide wire with the shadowing behind it, and it is inside the occluded vessel. After doing that, we advanced uh, the guide wire a little further, and then on contralateral injection and ipsilateral injection, we do now see that the wire is dancing in sync with the vessel, suggesting that we're in the same plane, although unfortunately the crossing was in the subintimal space. That is why we entered using the Stingray system. This is the Stingray balloon with the two little markers. We're able to stick with the Stingray wire chains for the Pilot and 200 using the so-called stick and swap technique. And that su allowed successful crossing followed by standing and restoration of flow into the circumflex. Unfortunately, we lost the distal branch of the obtuse marginal. And in cases like this, it is sometimes better to not try to recanalize it given the small size and the high complexity to do it, but illustrates as well the challenges when there's a bifurcation on the distal cap. Because if the lesion is crossed subintimally, there is high likelihood of losing this side branch. So in summary, intravascular ultrasound can be a useful tool for clarifying proximal cap ambiguity by demonstrating the origin of the occluded vessel and trying to highlight where the wire is coursing in relationship to the occluded vessel. There are other ways to clarify proximal cap ambiguity, including better angiogram in various projections, various subintimal techniques called move the cap, such as the scratch and go, um, the balloon assisted subintimal entry and the Carolino technique, and finally the retrograde approach by advancing a retrograde guide wire that can either clarify the ambiguity or be used for retrograde crossing. Thank you.